Hey guys, so the other night I did a garden update and part of that video I repaired a hose and that hose is what I used to get water down to the horse pen. Now the thing is, is I repaired the hose, I turned it on just to find out that it's got like 10 more leaks in it. And I knew this was bad but I didn't realize it was this bad. So Digger had chewed the hose basically in half, that's where I repaired it. I turned the water back on just to find out that it's leaking right there. It's leaking right there and right about there. And it's leaking right there. And just give it time, it'll start leaking again over there where it's green. So this is one of those situations where the setup that I have is not ideal, but it works. And I just kind of keep putting band-aids on it just to keep making it work. But, you know, before we had a dog, I repaired this hose time and time again just from people driving over it on occasion by accident because we got distracted and left it in the middle of the road or whatever. The kids moved it without somebody catching it. Um, plus there's times where the, you know, it's been like three years, pushing four years we've probably been doing this. And, you know, the hoses deteriorate. So it's just one thing after another. I've repaired this fence and, or I've repaired this hose and other hoses that I've switched out countless times. I, last time I went to the store to get a bib for it, I bought an entire bag of parts and pieces for this thing and I'm down to like two or three pieces left. So I have gone through tons of repairs on this fence. After Digger decided to chew it in half, it's time to bite the bullet and, and do it legit. So. Had Poppy come up here with his tractor, he has a claw that he fabricated um, to do some trenching and he's done tons of trenching down there at his place with it. It works great. Um, you know, it'd be nice to go out and get a trencher, but that's like 300 bucks for a day or so and just, that's just not in the, in the cards right now. You can see it goes quite a ways there. Um, I keep wanting to say fence, it's a hose. all the way down to the bathtub. So it was really pretty simple. Um, he's kind of basically scored the run that he, the path that we were gonna do. Did that a few times and then I jumped on the back of it to just add a couple of pounds because it's only got so much push down power. So I made a number of runs up and down on the back of the tractor and then maybe one or two without me and that was it. So it seems like it's probably about 16 inches down at least. There's pipes around here where they're just not even like two inches under the ground. I got a spot over where the goats are and literally it's just covered with leaves. So I'm not worried about getting too deep. Anything that I do is going to be better than what's already here. So I'm going to dig this stuff out. It's going to take me probably a few days. That's for sure. This is going to be a bit of a project, but I got a couple kids that love to dig. Okay, quick little insert I forgot to mention, but I want to say, I know there's two of you out there for sure that are going to give me a hard time about this and say, why did you not use the backhoe to do this trench? And the answer is pretty simple, kind of three reasons. For one, the backhoe is in need of repair. Uh, Poppy's been having a hard time getting somebody out here to work on it. I think he's finally got that whole situation figured out, but regardless, it needs to get worked on. Another reason is I've got I've got all this, all these trees back here. I got my fruit trees back here. They are in dire need of some attention, but I hope to start doing that here pretty soon once I get water going through this trench. So I don't want to get too close to the orchard. I don't think it would hurt anything um, with the backhoe, but I just want to try and keep some distance away from it. And then my other reason is the the width of the bucket on the backhoe is two feet. Now when we did the solar, we used that to dig a trench across the driveway, and it's just a it's just a really big hole to be digging. I just don't want to tear up the yard that much in this spot to do it with the backhoe. So I'd rather just do a little bit of digging and have a, a smaller trench. I'm going to show you guys a video. What happened to Baby Mask? I'm going to show you guys a video. I want you to watch these kitties. <laughs> the kitties are really silly. Oh, that's just kitties. Okay, kitty. Look at it. Look at those kitties. Kitties. That's a lot of cats. 
Look at this little beauty. They're baby kitties. Oh, that one's a kitty. Oh, yeah. That one's a cat. That kitty's named after daddy. And I was watching for one of Farmer G's videos and all these like amazing channels are doing this, you know, where they're naming plants after him and everything. And I'm like, oh my god, I can't compete with that. But I was I was still looking for some more. Baby G. Look at it, that kitty's name is Baby G. So what do you think, Farmer G? Is he cute? He's cute. Very rambunctious, getting into everything. As you can see, it's leaving the food bowl to come get into trouble. And um, it's always on the move, oh, that cat. one. So I thought that would be a fitting name. So this little one here is named after Farmer G. So this is little G. He's, He's the cutest cat. ever. Yeah. You guys are so cute. Still naming everybody. You guys like those kitties? This little beauty. Yeah, we like the kitties. Alright. Uh, 